Black Kings and Queens? Welcome back to my channel. I am Tabitha aka Natural Beauty here on YouTube and welcome to another Lock Tip Tuesday video. So this is a series of Q&A questions that you guys have asked. If you missed last week's questions, I'll be sure to post that in the description box. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. The first question is by Ray V. She says, yeah, let me turn this sideways. She says, I have questions on my combined locks. I combine many of my locks to where the grid patterns are all over the place. My locks, in my opinion, are too short to do the styles that I would love to do with them. Do you think that I will have any problems with styling my locks? Do you think that the styles will be ruined due to the grid pattern? So when it comes to grid pattern, I think it's all about preference. I don't think it will affect your styles. Right now, it may seem like it's a little bit hard just because you're working with shorter locks but once they grow out you'll be able to do all the styles that you want to it's all about preference if it bothers you for you to part you know say you're doing um a braid or a bell roll and you part it your attention is to part it straight and you have a couple locks in that row that's making it not completely straight some people that would bother, some people that wouldn't. So it's all about preference. Um, no, it won't mess up the styles. The only thing that will mess up the styles and stop you from doing a lot of styles that you would like to do is the amount of locks that you have. As long as you have a lot of locks, you don't have to really worry about it. Obella E says, my locks feel so dry all the time. What can I do to keep my hair moisturized? I'm still in the baby stages, about eight months locked. To moisturize your locks you want to use the lock method but when it comes to moisturization there is no one product that will moisturize your locks it is a process it is a um, oftentimes a three-step process so I would recommend using the lock method on your locks that is a liquid oil in the cream liquid can be a rose water or um, aloe vera gel but it's in liquid form and follow up with an oil or a mixture of oils depending on what your issues are what problems you're trying to solve with your hair and then a light cream any kind of leave-in conditioner or um, shea butter based product any something that's kind of thick but not thick enough to cause buildup La Portia Mathis says what's the best way to twist your locks counterclockwise or clockwise and what if you went two places and they twisted your lock different directions so when it comes to twisting your locks I have experimented with both when I first started I twisted my right side to the right and then the left side to the left over time I forgot you know about the twisting and then I just end up twisting what was more comfortable for me so I twist everything going to the right because I'm right hand dominant so it really doesn't matter um, which way you twist your locks but I will say that if you retwist your hair often then you might want to tell the people who are doing your hair to twist it one direction and if they're a loctician if they know what they're doing it doesn't matter if they're right handed or left handed they should be ambidextrous when it comes to the twisting rotation so you just don't want to cause any damage by twisting especially if you twist often twisting over retwisted hair and then that will cause friction so if you're going this way and then a week later you're going this way that's definitely not enough time for it to um, for that retwisted hair that you have already went over to lock so that can cause problems but as far as the direction no it doesn't it doesn't um, matter which direction T. Cheryl says does your hubby trim his locks I do trim his locks about once a year. Andrew Lopez wants to know how long are your husband's locks. I actually measure his locks. Um, his longest lock is 25 inches and his shortest lock is about 20, about 20, 21 inches. So it's a little over two feet. And just in case, even though y'all didn't ask, I'm going to answer anyway, my longest lock is 13 inches and my shortest one is like the one in the front. And it's about four to five inches. I actually have a few of them in the front that's short. And that's because I accidentally cut them when I did an extension style. This one is from Lewis Campbell. I'm thinking about getting my hair locked. My hair is past my shoulders. Would I have to cut it before I lock it? I also saw a video where you restarted your locks and was wondering, is this the result from that process? 
So the first question, hair past the shoulders. I started my hair with about five to six inches of hair. Personally, I think that the longer your hair is when you start it, the longer your hair will be and the less you would have to go through that waiting process of it actually getting longer. Um, my hair is probably somewhere around here and I'm three years locked. If I would have started with short locks or really, really short hair, my hair wouldn't have been that long. So I personally think starting them long would be good. Just make sure the person who starts your locks or if you start your locks, know what they're doing because it's harder to do, especially if you're doing comb coils, it's harder to do that with longer hair. So as far as restarting my locks, um, I actually went to a beauty salon to get my, my locks started and she didn't do it how I wanted to do it. So I just took them out and redid them myself, but it didn't have any do, anything to do with the length. Anicia Fox then says, when I'm semi-free forming my locks, my locks are getting thinner, what causes that? So that is usually caused from having a thin base. The whole point of free forming or semi-free forming is to get your locks to thicken up. If you have a very thin base, meaning if you have a lot of loose straightaway hairs that are not actually wrapped around the base of your hair, then semi-free forming will just cause more tension because there's less hair over time that's wrapped around your hair. So in order to um, actually reverse that, you don't want to necessarily retwist, but you do want to go through every uh, maybe a couple days and just make sure that all of the, your loose hairs and all of the strayways are actually wrapped around the base of your lock to give it a nice strong hold. So that's all for this week's video. I'm trying to keep my Lock Tip Tuesdays Q&A's short. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave that in the comments box below. And until next time, be you, be beautiful, be blessed.